Hello everyone, this is Moss Temple. I come at you with another video Q&A, similar to the one we did for Necromaster's Gift. This time is for a game called Mithrin that I did a um, newsletter update for just a few days ago. To start off with, we have Welcome to Mithrin, first Q&A. And since there were so many questions, I'm going to only do the ones they particularly responded to, rather than just reading all the questions that didn't get answered or whatever, but they answered almost every single question that I'm aware of. So, we're going to be sitting in for the long call for this one. Start off with what well, Jolly Red June asked. You know what my question will be, and then they respond, well, I won't unless you ask, which makes perfect sense. But next, what would you say are the main inspirations by Mithrin? Let's see, outside of Pokemon, we were inspired by Monster Rancher, so one of five particularly, and Lost Saga. Champion might have slightly different answers to the same question. By the way, we have two different people answering the Q&A. We'll get, um, as you go down, as we go down, you'll see that they come in and both of them start answering. Will you answer what the Arcana type is about? Mythin that fall under the Arcana type will pull from the design fish I like dark energy and magic. Here's an early version of the type icon working on for the arcane. Still icon. Pretty cool icon. Okay, is gathering emblems the only way to get Mithrin? A Mithrin emblem acts as a way to unlock portals to take you to new Mithrin. The Mithrin themselves may require a complete quest before they allow you to form a contract with them. What's the meaning of life? We should already know this answer, everyone. 42. How many Mithrin will the vertical slice have? Exactly one. The nature of vertical slice means only focus on the bare minimum that's required for the game. So, it's Grakun versus Grakun battles. How deep will combat be? Oh, sorry. What is the vertical slice? The blog post explain it better what the vertical slice is better than I ever could in a Discord message. But for Mithrin, that means a functional Mithrin in both the world and combat, or combat system, a functioning chunk of a wild island zone, a functioning home island, along with training mini games, training Mithrin stats, or VS build lays between VS and a prototype as we're laying the groundwork to play a playable demo for the theatrical Kickstarter. Or theoretical, sorry, sorry. How many Mithrins are planned for the game, and how many can you party? It's a really difficult question. Uh -huh. Basically, the short answer is 120, but given how long a Mithrin line takes, it's very unrealistic unless we get enough funding, so I don't... So I'd expect it to be somewhere between 60 and 120, depending on funding. As I said with Necromancer's Gift, I highly support any Monster Tamer games going for a Kickstarter because that it seems that Kickstarters have been doing pretty well for most Monster Tamer games, especially if you have a um, switch stretch goal i've noticed that's definitely something that a lot of people are interested in costume quest did really good even though it was a ps4 exclusive and um the stretch goals were the switch pc and everything like that but even then costume kingdom would have done even better if they would have just been releasing for pc and ps4 i think so if you guys plan on releasing this for PC and maybe possibly a, a Switch stretch goal, I think you'll have no problem getting some pretty decent funding. How much time does it take to make a final version of a Mithrin? A Mithrin line are currently projected to take three to four months from concepting to finished in a game. Minus development spent on long term. This includes four Mithrin per line with evolutions acting something akin to an Echo Fighter in most recent Smash games. Will there be an open beta or alpha? And if not, will there be a closed beta or alpha? We're looking into having a closed private alpha for testing purposes, and then an open slash closed beta test later in development to stress various aspects of the game. That being said, both of these are a little bit far. Now things might change by the time we announce this thing. Are you open to cross-game Easter eggs with other Monster Tamer games? We are very much open to have cross-game Easter eggs. That is really cool. I like how Monster Sanctuary was doing the, the, the crossovers that it was doing, like with um, Serulum and stuff. Um, it is, crossovers are a fun, great thing. Where does the name Mithrin come from? Mithrin was once originally named Darkin, or, or Darkrin, but 
some team members and friends advise that we have something else because due to dark not really fitting the theme of the vibe of Mithrin, having both design wise and in gameplay. We landed on Mithrin, talking about both myth and children and mashing them together. We thought this fits much better due to our narrative focus with the creatures and the overall magic fantasy vibe found with in the world of Mithrin, although the name Darkrin has found a new home within our game. You said this includes four Mithrin per line. Does that mean there will be a single, there will be a stage four evolution? Sorry about the wait on this one. I had a quick little graphic. I made a quick little graphic on Mithrin evolutions. All Mithrin Evos follow the same basis. A base Evo Mithrin can evolve into three different things. The choice is yours with which evolution you evolve your partners into. The types change, the type change Evos unlock sooner than the awakened Evo. So there you go. Here's like a little example of, you know, you have two different type changes that might be a different type than your base, and then you have it in week. And the three myths we've shown so far are their, are all their species based evolution. Will you have shinies in the game if you do what they be called? Sadly, shinies are quite, com are quite sadly shinies are quite compatible aren't quite compatible, I think they meant to say, with our unique take on a Moss Temple game. Although we are looking into alternatives to Shinies, we haven't landed on anything concrete yet, but it's something we do at least want to have in spirit in Mithrin. What made you consider doing a newsletter? The gold newsletters let us die down a bit on twice a week's post on Twitter and return to the bigger chunk of content drop each month. Plus let's, uh, plus let's us go farther into detail about unique systems in a Mithrin than a tweak to allow. Another reason was to reduce the workload on me with planning tweet twice a week. I really appreciate the newsletter. I like the good, concise, like you have just a concentrate of the news. Um, it's kind of hard to go through and pick through all these different tweets and compile um, solid information on it. So it's a lot easier when you have it all in one place. Will Raccoon ever have his white nose? Could maybe show up as an Easter egg in the NPC Raccoon. Would you do a crossover with other Monster Hammer games? And if yes, is there a special Monster Hammer game which you would like to do a crossover? So something like what Monster Sanctuary, Coral Mon, and Serum did. We'd love to. Our game works really well with crossovers both narratively and in gameplay. So yeah, uh, my mega dream crossover in Mithrin Accident Tape isn't with a tamer game but rivals of aether i think a good chunk of their roster work amazingly in our game with maypole or Bavanos being my personal picks if i had to pick a tamer game i'd obviously love to have pokemon in our game imagine modeling pokemon officially that would be amazing also coromon and monster crown have a bunch of fun designs i'd love to see them interacting with me haha uh -huh. what's your favorite book my two favorite books are well art books what can I say? I'm an art nerd. These being Fashionopedia, oddly amazing reference for clothes when it comes to character art, and Autonomy for 3D art is another favorite of mine. It's my go-to reference when I blank out an anatomical structure. On humans, also less educational is the Fire Emblem Awakening art book. If you had to pick one game, what would you say is the game that is closest to Mithras in terms of gameplay? I'm sure Jampion has a wildly different answer than me, but for me, I find Duck Life very similar to our game at a core level. Obviously not the exact same game, but at its core, Duck Life and Mithras share a similar gameplay loop and concept. It hit me like an epiphany one day. This is the game I'm talking about. There it is, guys. I don't know if I have been a more realistic comparison as far as Mithras' social system and day-to-day -day life function in Mithras. I like how... Um, Mithrin is going to have that social aspect and like making bonds with people and stuff like that. That was one of my favorite things about Kindred Fates that excited me is their bond system. And I'm glad to see Mithrin is going to have its own type of system like that that you can make with the NPCs in the world. Will there be IVs and EVs? Nope. Champion will have to go into how stats are handled with Mithrin and its combat system. Thank you. Thank you a thousand times. I actually saw this one when I was watching the Q&A live. I cannot stand IVs and EVs. Like I said before, I'm perfectly fine with something like Monster Sanctuary, how you can have items that affect your stats or what have you, but I just do not want to grind endlessly or breed endlessly to try to get somebody with good stats. Are there any dual type Mithrans? Yep, Scowl is fire type air. Fire slash air. Will the game have breeding? If so, how will it work? Nope, 
and given Mithrin are sentient, it would be very hard to write. Our gameplay doesn't really support a breeding system, and this gameplay loop part of the same issue with shinies. Cool. Like, I don't really, I'm not like a huge fan of breeding. Like Monster Crown, for example, I think does an amazing job with it, but generally speaking, I'm perfectly fine with it not being there. How deep will the combat be? That question, Jampion, I could answer better than that. Will you be able to choose one Mithrin in your party to be your buddy? And is there going to be a mount slash swim slash fly system? Yes, by default, you have Mithrin who follows you in all overworld environments. You can ride slash swim slash glide with them depending on which type of Mithrin they are. These will allow you to reach areas on the wild isle you couldn't access otherwise. And how important are foreheads and why is the answer the mo that is the most important thing? One of the strongest Mithrin I know is with the power of gigantic foreheads. Jahu gigantic. And here we got Jampion coming in. What would you say is the main inspiration behind it? Maddie hit the nail on the head of this one. So in the five ball, Saga Monster Ranger and Pokemon of large inspirations. Will every Mithrin have an awakened state? Yes, all Mithrin have an awakened evolution. If one were not, it, if one were not to have one, it would be an irregularity and not the um, norm. This is also the same question I asked about pick one game was supposed to the gameplay. That's actually really hard to do. If I had to pick one, say Monster Rancher, since raising your myth is a very important part of the game. I've never actually played Monster Rancher. It's something I've been really wanting to play, but I just haven't had access to it. And they also like to throw in a bit of Spyro when it comes to their level design and exploration levels, in addition to all those other games. Hey, Maddie, you can actually... Are you actually an animal in disguise, too? For context, this joke starts, uh, started in Ed's um, lids. I can't tell if that's an I or an L. I, I feel like somebody told me it was an L. Lids server were found out to that he is just 25 hamsters trying to develop a game. He's Loba, Sierra, Jolly, and Boba are animals, and I are animals, too, because of the joke. And they respond with, I'm totally not the Team Red Panda, so I'm changing code. Mithrin being developed by 15 Red Pandas and Trichico Firm. How deep will the combat be? This is Jampion going into deeper into some of these questions. The ideal for the combat system seems to be fairly deep. I want it to be easy to pick up, but harder to master. I'd put it on the same level as Smash, easy enough to get into, but I'm go much further to higher level. But that can be less complex than a traditional fighting game, but a bit more in depth than Ninja Storm series, if that helps. I like that. Um... Like, I like fighting games at a certain level, but it gets to a point where I don't like the super, super in-depth, like, micromanaging, borderline micromanaging of every single action you have to do in some of the really high-tier play in fighting games. But, like, mid-tier play of fighting games, after you've been playing it for a good while, for, like, you know, like over a week or something like that, you start to understand the combos and everything like that. Really nice, and I... See them going even a little bit higher than that, but as long as they, you know, don't really go something like super complex uh, tournament levels of fighting like that, but like have the cap a little bit lower so that more people can get into it easier, but at the same time still having depth there for people to enjoy and experiment and play around with, I think they might hit like a perfect mixture there if they get careful about how they do it. How many? Foreheads we like to add. Well, you know, I think everything is a forehead, right? And then also not sure foreheads are a sign of power in the Mithrin society, so having too many would have drastic implications of the Mithrin economy. How much of the story will cover foreheads? I'm sure there'll be some reference to someone's forehead somewhere in the story. Will there be a five head? Never say never. What do you feel will stand out the most unique about this game compared to other most tempered games? Hmm, I think our social system can persona the social links and confidence will really stick out. I think so too. That's one of my favorite things I'm most excited about for this. That and the combat also look really amazing. What do you feel to stand out or be the most unique about this game compared to the most tempting games? Is Jampion and turn it now? Mavi may have a different answer, but to me, it's both the narrative and combat system. Uh, going to me, too many details on narrative focuses a lot on the trainer as a person. Both the myths they raise, they aren't a silent protagonist. And. The combat system will have you join a really unique situation. Will there be a way to find a split game? Currently, no, but we're looking to a short term option for the game. There, then, also, we are amidst early planning phases of possible Kickstarter, but I'd be a while for now that this happened. 
if you guys don't want to go through the whole route kickstarter patreon might also be a kind of good option i've known i've seen some other games with patreon and they do get some support there so just some Will there be foxes in any way, shape, or form? Never say never. Maybe. And as a follow-up to that question, are all creatures in the game planned, or are some concepts yet to be designed? Definitely not all of them are planned. I'm still coming up with cool concepts even now. Will Ed, as in Jim Leader Ed, be in the game? I'd love to be able to model a bunch of references to NPCs of people we know and characters of our friends of ours. Although no strong Stein stone plans regarding this now. What happens if all creatures in your party die? A simple game over. The three, the three in the in your party are out of health and they have no more of our health for storing items. You will be taken to the home island and the next day. I am asking too many questions right now. <laughs> nope. No more the merrier. Do you have anything you can tell us about the story? The short, vagueish version is you play a trainer who grew up on an island with parents from different areas in the Mithrin world. Do the trainer have a hard time fitting into the island culture while they were growing up and now they're trying to find a place that they feel that they belong what will happen if all the creatures in your party die simple gave over or something special to expand on what maddie said there are different types of battles that you could wipe out in. if on the exploration island or in a tournament that isn't story important then yes you'll be taken to the home island the next day story important battles you have different options like retrying or potentially going back seven amount of times so you can try to prepare a battle on different ways. I'll follow them up on the IVs and EVs question. So as I said, we won't have IVs and EVs. The idea in Mithrin is that you can build out your Mithrin in the way that you want. Since getting raising this requires a decent amount of work, getting a bad roll on stats for Mithrin will feel bad. Every time you level up your SP stat points, that you could use to train your Mithrin with, you can use these on attack, defense, intelligence, speed, or HP. Stat names change constantly, so don't hold me to these, haha. There are also wellness stats. Make sure you take care of your Mithrin and their friendship level. And then how many types should there be, and are the creatures that can be dual type? Six types. Earth, fire, water, air, arcane, and bio, and yes, they can have dual types. Gal is both fire and air, giving her access to skillful both types. Zero to ten, how sexy is your community? What do you do? Are you hoping the game will be competitively viable? Yes, it'll be tough work. Haha, it's actually informed a lot of our design decisions and certain things we try to keep account for, like local fights in the same system. Will it be an active day night cycle or will it be based on what activity you do? It'll be similar to someone you stay out the day or night, so your activity points run up, then you transition to the next time, day or night. Would you consider paid DLC if the game is stressful? Sure, we'll cross that bridge when we get there, though. Haha. <laughs> Will all the creatures be evenly distributed for each type, or will there be certain elements that are harder to find, slash get or less? Our current goal is to have a certain amount of, type of each type for the base of evolution of Mithrin. Their secondary type does not factor into this, and just help us make sure that we're keeping things generally even amounts, types, and variety are given a smaller roster. But I don't think we'll be restricting ourselves with that type change evolution in this regard. Will all creatures be evenly distributed for each type, or will there be certain creatures, creature elements that will be harder to find, slash get, or less? Just going back to, um, is there anything you're changing early stage development? You know, just can't be on answering the same question with his input. Creatures are somewhat evenly distributed. The major caveat is that it depends on the zone. For example, a zone doesn't have any places where it makes sense to put a fire, like an underwater zone. There may be none of that within that zone. The second part is definitely. The designs have been more and more fleshed out as time went on. I'd go back in the past, John, and tell him everything that was planned. We wouldn't, we would have set up some stuff differently, like this type of stuff. Are all creatures for the game planned, or there's some concepts yet to be designed? Some planned, some not. We do have a fair bit of concepts for Mithrin, but we want to make sure we pick carefully and give a limited number of Mithrin. How do you feel at being at the starting point for the forehead mean honestly i'm not sure how i feel about the havoc i've caused seems right that all i of all people started to mean by accident how can you customize your playstyle? you can do this through how you build your mithrin stats which skills you take to battle in battle you have regular jabs heavy and special also have access to four skills have longer cooldowns this combined with your which team you choose 
pick into battle, swapping instead of interesting combos, help you set up your own unique playstyles. Okay, can you reset it afterwards, or is it set in stone to have to catch another one? Yes, there will be content that will allow you to reset your stats. It'll be a real pain to have to start from scratch and mess up your stat points. Evolution cannot be reset, though. If you want a different Evo, you have to get a different version, same method, so choose your evolution wisely. What made you want to create the game? So, I think multiple team members are going to chime in on this. I've actually wanted to create a monster team game since I was in 8th grade. Uh, it's been an idea that stuck in my head, back in my head. In, 20, in 2018, I decided that since no one was making Monster Team a game with an active battle system that did what I wanted, I just tried to make it myself. Since, since then, the concept and team has grown a ton, and it's actually been really exciting for everyone to join due to excitement for the project. Excuse me. What made you want to create this game? When I was approached by John about doing models for a Pokemon like game, I was sure I'd love it. Time went on, I really dug the Persona twist and the in there at the time and have since taken up other tasks to be on modern characters. The Wild Island, to some extent, is my game design baby. What made you want to create the game? And can you ride the Mons? Will some Mithrin change for release after reveal? What platforms is the game aiming to? And since so groups three. Yes, you can ride them, although some are just anatomically unrideable, glide or swim will have another function. Likely yes, although we're not sure. Gracoon keeps on the undergoing updates here and there. Or platforms that we aim for is PC and Switch. All the Switch is up in the air. We haven't sat down to figure out how the logistics of the Switch release. Like I said, since those are the things you guys are aiming for, I think a Kickstarter would do great because you'll have a map with a really big um, audience there. Will you keep an archive of this channel after this is done for Ed and Bulba to make videos about it? Because the community influenced the game. And are you going to expand the class of our paper system type combat? And if not, have you already done the protection step. What more on? I guess that you already know your question because I'm making a video about it right now. <laughs> yep, we have archived categories set up once the QA is done. We open the community influence, although to what extent? I'm not sure at the moment. Rock, paper, scissors currently isn't part of a battle um, combat design, so no. Why is there still mode? John is okay at the moment, so it's to aid me in answering questions while he's gone. So I'll win for posting the most questions. Maybe. Will there be special ways to evolve your Mithrin through stones or love or something else? What would bring? What would be the biggest hurdle that you have encountered during this project? Currently, no. Evolution is tied to the rank of the bomb with your Mithrin. The choice you make. The problem is always scope and scalability of a feature making sure we don't create a new feature that focuses on making a bunch of new animations that otherwise go unused um by the way i've never got answered I'm not sure what question that was oh it will be a kickstarter i thought i responded to that question about asking we're currently amidst we are currently amidst the um the early playing stage of kickstarter doesn't mean it will happen but i'll mark it down as something that is more likely to happen than not Will there be TMs or the Mithrin only learn moves while leveling up? This is still in development, but our current plan is to have them learn moves while leveling up. There's a plan that involves finding Mithrin skills in the overworld that your Mithrin can learn based on your element type, but not set stone yet. Will Mithrin cover dark themes in a story? Yes, but no. The game is lighthearted, but it has some serious themes, kind of similar to Last Airbender. The show, not the movie. And how did you handle some of these hurdles? Does the character you play as have a hunger bar or health points? Will there be key items or myths that help you interact with the landscape of the both kind of cut? We handled these so far by coming up with unique situations that not only solve one scalability scope problem, many at once. Nope, there isn't a tamer health bar says hunger, but if you fall from certain locations, you will respawn back at your last known safe location. Key items are likely for the overworld be using your essential abilities are also key to exploit new areas you couldn't otherwise get to. Will there be genders? If yes, we'll make slightly different models for a few mons. Will there be crafty, crafter, or just optional cosmetic items? Will you be able to customize your Mithrin? For a Mithrin, nope. For tamers, yep. Yeah. If there is crafting a Mithrin, and we had talks about cosmetic items, there aren't any specific cosmetic items developed right now. We definitely want to include some. In terms of its stats and playstyle, based on skills and stats, yes. For cosmetics, 
As stated above, there are plans for it in terms of color, options, and possibly equipment, but hasn't been developed yet. Will Mithrin also have any sort of equipment, items they could hold or use? Will there be non-binary gender options in the game? If so, what's the reason behind using vision? Will the game feature a day-night cycle and a weather system? Currently, no, but we're not opposed to the idea of held items as something to explore on the road. We'll have options for players of all genders in any version of the game. There will be a light character customization, meaning changing skin, eye, hair, along with along with that comes one gender. We also made the choice to make sure everyone fills themselves in the world of myth. Game, game's time will progress much like personas, where after spending enough activity points, you will go to the next day. Currently, there are no plans for whether or not it could introduce cool effects, much like how they do personas. What would you say Mithrin's most fleshed out quality? Combat by far. Who composed music for the game? How much is the compost and would you like to show us your favorite so far? Um, here you guys go. If you guys come over here to the um, Q&A in the Discord, you can scroll down and find this and click on it. This to you for yourself. How'd you meet the others? Well, I've known Carl M. Corey for a while. we are playing various games together in Discord. Gallimps, I've known since I was in middle school, and involved boys since I was in elementary school, a long time. I met Mijanat and Rima during the underground undergrad studies and played much Smash Bros. together four years ago. Medic, I met during master study in Connecticut during game dev meetup five years ago, and I met Mavi at GDC around 1.5 years ago, though Art Stolf stream, check out his stream, he's an awesome dude. I met Zachary and Carter. And Saber through Zane. And everything I just read out there. Oh, never mind. Let's spot on. This not answer your question. How much do you think that exposure to YouTubers like Ed and Bubble will affect games? They very much do all together. Wait, they very much do all, although not in the typical sense. They stand as a very helpful platform that aids the small team of games to get the word out about each of our respective games, we push up the hard work and put them to their videos. Thank you. And I, um, I speak for myself, and I'm pretty sure I speak for Ed as well when saying this, is that we really appreciate the hard work you guys put into your games, because without your games, we wouldn't have these channels to begin with. Do the starters have their have a theme the design is bound to? No, there's no particular theme for the starters, but all Mithra and follow design philosophy. The basic gist but they need to use elements from at least two animals, a main one and a secondary animal. The secondary animal traits can be loosely there. An element, an aspect of the element, if the earth doesn't have a... If, hold on. If it's earth, does is, is the aspect leaves Gracoon and having a strong silhouette. Once Q&A is closed in 15 minutes, I'll make sure to check back through make sure we... If there weren't any questions we missed, if we did, let us know in general off topic. We sure we don't accidentally put the main chat. We missed a, if we missed a lot. Is there a Mithrin subreddit? If so, if not, would you want one? If you're asking if there's a Reddit or not, then the answer is yes. Will you limit the amount of questions which I'm allowed to ask? Next. <laughs> we'll likely have rules between the q and print large paragraphs being posted, although we do really appreciate all the questions you have. Are the legendaries planned? Current answer is we're not sure. Legendaries and Mithrin are a weird concept, but we talked about including them. As we come more to a final decision, we'll fill you in all the details. What would you like in the game we can't have? Something like Wild Area, but actually being able to play and go on adventures with your friends to face. What is your favorite pizza topping? So, get pepperoni or pepperoni plus bananas. is a good combo. And what are those things? Well, I'm um, reference to those things right there. We'll be talking about that in the coming weeks, but they are 100% non Mithrin and thus not something that you can form pack with. Like, how do you, what do you like about, um, like the most about Mithrin? For me, it's the designs. Each of the Mithrin and the combat, every time we come up with a Mithrin and start talking about how they work in combat, the idea is really exciting. What do you like the most about Mithrin? I really love the personality for each Mithrin and making their emblems. Why would Mithrin want to form pact with humans? They may be an external threat to their world that required Mithrin team with humans. That and the fact that a lot of Mithrin love competing with each other and humans help them get stronger. More details may come up in a lower post at some point. But a pact is equivalent to catching in the game and without the Mithrin being entirely forced. 
from what I remember, the protagonist won't be a generic silent one, right? So what are their motivations? This is copied from a different question, but it's pretty much the same answer. In the short, vagueish version, she plays a trainer of the global island, parents from different areas in a different world. Through this trainer has a hard time fitting in the island's culture, where they grew up, and now they're trying to find a place they feel like they belong to. We have family in the game, and will they survive the game? You currently have family, and yes, they do survive. Did humans and Mithran fight over the world? Ones, both, and humans are able to fight the Mithran alone without a Mithran. They did not fight over the world, and for the most part, humans are not able to survive a fight against a Mithran alone without a Mithran. Mithran are not hostile, though, for the most part. Should this be closed by now, or did you want to do it longer? You said, haha, just closed it. Going to finish up answering some of the last questions. Um, are all of the evolutionary lines going to be two-stage process, or will there be a three-stage one? Currently, we don't have any plans for three-stage evolution, but if there were, it would probably be a special case. Will there be a gym leader equivalent major tournaments? Or hosting will have gym leader equivalents. Will there be a city in which you could buy stuff? And if yes, how is the money named? And how far spread are humans in the world? And how strong are they compared to Mithran? Yes, there is a city named Cochant. You can visit there during your journey and buy items to take tournaments. Currency Cochant is known as Mons. Humans are about as well spread. As well as well spread as they are in our world, humans reside in the northern island of the region Mithra takes place in. The wild island on the southern island is uninhabited due to the hostile and dangerous environment it can be. There are also smaller islands, um, and this is where the home island is the game. Do Mithran and humans like each other in general, or does the majority accept them as lesser evil for their own gain? It's a friendly relationship. There may be some people who dislike Mithran and some Mithran who generally dislike people. Though, do humans live on other places but do humans live on other places where we live like far away from islands and do they interact with each other friendly or in a more evil way so there are definitely other humans in the world and for the game folks on particular region islands you'll see people from these other regions the city area and tournament some factions are friendly with each other and others have animosity towards each other and that ends it for this q a thank you all for sticking with me so long this was a long one but we got some very useful information here now i would like to say marlon you did post a ton of questions so i'm giving you the unofficial monster time global reward for being the content provider for this video thank you very much for the huge amount of questions you posted q a would not have been the same without you and thank you to everyone who posted any questions and thank you for anyone who decided to watch this video this has been Mustin Bluba signing off. I will see you all next time. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.